There is a key that will give you immeasurable amount of hair. The medieval people did this. People from the Edwardian era, people from the Victorian era, ancient African people. This is what they all had in common. And I know this might be mind-boggling to someone like, what am I talking about? Keeping hair dry at the same time soft? Yes, this is the goal. Everything that is within each single strand of your hair, it wants oil and not water. Everyone knows that water and oil do not mix. If you want long hair, then stop first going in with water. There's an illusion. There's a mirage to keep your hair short and miserable so that you can always want to have long hair. If you just focus on doing this one thing, just do this one thing and it will be like a key that is just going to unlock your hair. You're going to look back years from now and be like, oh my goodness, what happened? What I am saying to you is that if you get this right, if you do this, then guess what? You are about to become one of the real life Rapunzel's. And no, I am not exaggerating. That is how much that is how much hair you are going to have if you listen to this video very carefully and do this thing that I am advising you on. That's it. Do not listen to this video and forget and everything is going to distract you, by the way. But just write it down after you watch it that this is the routine that I am going to follow. And whatever storm and whatever new information that comes up after you watch this video, I need you to have laser focus, okay? I need you to have tunnel vision and not waver and not look to the left and not look to the right, but stick it out. Today's video is based on this video. I will put it somewhere right here for you guys. I will even link this video in the description box so that you go and watch it for yourself. It's a video of a doctor who focuses on hair, skin, and nails. And in this particular video, she was talking about whether people should air dry their hair or use a blow dryer. I know this video right here, right now, has nothing to do with air drying or blow drying your hair. It's about something that I picked up on her video. And so, let's get into the video. There is a big misconception when it comes to African hair. And yes, only African hair because other races do not do this. And we wonder why they have long hair. A big misconception that puts sorrow in my heart. Because people actually believe it. That is what saddens me. That is the most painful part about all of this, is that people actually believe it. This misconception is that you need to keep your hair hydrated and it will flourish. That your hair is like a plant, you need to water it and it will grow. When it's actually the opposite, that is true. It's like this, this thing was cultivated somewhere. It was cooked somewhere by an invisible hand to ensure that black hair stays mediocre, that it never reaches its full potential. And there is another misconception that if you wash your hair too often, it will grow even faster. You need to wash your hair as often as you should, like once a week is what they propose. And people are falling for this. Today, we are going to be talking about those two things that do not keep your hair hydrated. If you want glorious lengths of hair, then stop hydrating your hair. And if you want very, very long hair, do not wash it too often. Because what you don't understand is that while you are manipulating your scalp, washing it every week, doing all these things to, to ensure that you grow one inch in one month, what you don't know is that you have lost this tiny eight inches that you already have. This is something that is based on science, okay? So this new information that I have found, by the way, go and watch the first video that I did on why you should put water away from your hair as much as possible. 
because this video is like a continuation of that one now i have just found something new that i did not know about that just reaffirmed to me that we need to be careful when applying water into our hair and this new information is based on this study of this doctor that i talked about apparently there is something inside each strand of our hair that is called a cell membrane complex in short it's called cmc apparently this particular thing is like it's like a glue that holds all the particles of our hair in place it holds the medulla the cortex and the hair cuticles in place so that our hair can do a better job at oil retention so that our hair can always maintain a good balance between strength which is protein and softness which comes from hydration okay and by hydration i am not talking about water you must never look to water to hydrate your hair when i say hydration when i say moisturize your hair i mean hair butter and yes hair butter is not just a sealant it is also moisturizing for your hair if you keep watering your hair if you keep drenching your hair in water if you keep misting your hair what you are doing is that you are unknowingly damaging this cmc this cell membrane complex in your hair so the key is to keep your hair dry and soft and i know this might be mind-boggling to someone like what am i talking about keeping hair dry at the same time soft yes this is the goal if you want to retain length then keep your hair dry 90 percent of the time and while it is dry ensure that it is soft and how do you soften dry hair it's easy i assume that already you have mini braids on your hair because hair is not meant to be out in an afro hair out in an afro is supposed to be a once of thing maybe when there is a certain occasion or something so your hair is in mini braids is in micro braids what you do is that you anoint it with your heavy butter and then you, you do four or maybe six maybe i don't know chunky braids on your hair and then you wrap it up for an hour or two and what you are going to find is that when you take out the hair wrap and undo those chunky braids there you have soft hair and yes people cannot do this people need to first go in with water and this is a deadly shortcut okay but people just feel the need to take the shortcut because they don't have two hours to wait around for hair to, yo let me tell you if you want to reach glorious lengths of hair then take the word shortcut away from your routine so that is what i am saying in this video i am saying that everything that is within each single strand of your hair it wants oil and not water it wants oil and not water everyone knows that water and oil do not mix i bet you none mm -mm. Uh -uh, I bet you none. it is very easy to grow hair you just need to apply wisdom you just need to apply common sense and no don't overthink it just use common sense observe nature observe the workings of the world anything that doesn't like water likes oil and anything that likes oil doesn't like water just observe this just as you cannot pour oil on your plant is the same as you cannot pour water onto your hair you must do this very rarely if you want glorious amounts of hair and you also see this in the big machines that have to be greased for them to operate for them to be functional okay in that situation you can never first go in with water because why because it just doesn't make sense doesn't make sense okay for those machines to be fully functional they need to be well oiled so keep your hair like a well oiled machine and it will never disappoint you why first go in with water you will find that everyone on youtube says hi ah, you must first go in with water uh, a hair butter or an oil you must never apply that to your hair 
you must never apply that directly to your hair um, because they are a sealant. Yes, hair butter is a sealant, but it's also good hydration for your hair. This thing of first going in with water is like raising up a child and you telling them their entire childhood that they are ugly, that they are fat, that they are thin, that they are stupid, that they will never amount to anything. And then when it is time to make something out of their life, there you are telling them that, huh, be confident, you can do this, whatever, whatever. Really? That is honestly how I view this thing of first going in with water and then sealing your hair with hair butter or an oil, knowing that the water has defeated the whole purpose. Now I have homework for you guys. I need you to identify on YouTube everyone who says that oils and butters are cancelled, whatever, whatever, that they don't use oils and butters on their hair. Just observe how their hair is doing, how their hair has been doing ever since they said that. Did they ever reach tailbone length or not after saying that? Now that is activity number one. And then activity number two, I need you to identify everyone, not just African women or people with forced hair, identify everyone who promotes that in your hair you must use oils and butters, okay? I need you to observe how their hair is doing and look at how radiant and how beaming and how happy and how voluptuous their hair is doing. Look and see, ever since they posted their video promoting oils and butters, are they in a growth plateau? Number three, I need you to search for African women now as in people with fussy hair, even if they are mixed or whatever. Just observe people with type 4 hair. Only the ones that have tailbone length hair. And yes, that means that do not look at me because we are still here, okay? But take this very seriously. Look at the African women that have tailbone length hair or even longer. I need you to identify how often they wash their hair and come back and comment under this video. Let us do this. You do the research now. Tell me this person has hair down their butt and this is how often they wash their hair. And you are going to see that none of them are going to say, I wash my hair once a week. What you are going to see on average is once a month or every three months, every four months, every two months. No, don't take my word for it. Go and do your own research. Come back and comment your results under this video. Do not wash your hair so often. Because if you are washing your hair, hoping that you're going to grow one inch a month, your wish might just come true. You might just grow the inch a month. But even though you grew this inch in one month, you lost all of this. It's like doing a trade and I am trading in this eight inches for, for an inch. Is it really worth it? The key is to retain length while you are getting new growth. Okay? The key is not to start over every time you get new growth. That is where you are starting from. That is how you build long hair over time because what happens is that if i expose my hair to water right here then this hair will be so damaged that that it will not go long 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 if i overly wash this hair to make sure that i grow an inch in one month then i am killing this part this part won't be able to survive the cmc of my hair that i already have okay the cuticles everything will be swollen up everything will be damaged and i will have to cut 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 my hair or it will fall off on its own and if i want to reach my goal five years from now then i need to keep this intact what i already have and guess what five years is going to come five years is going to pass by this is what a lot of people don't understand 
when someone when you tell someone that you are going to have this length in five years, they are like, oh, five years, five years is going to come. Do not wash your hair, guys. And I know as for us girls with braids, like as for us girls with mini braids, we can be tempted to wash our hair all the time because of how convenient it is to wash hair in braids. Like you're like, oh my goodness, my scalp is already out. I just need to wash my scalp and whatever. I'm growing new hair. Mm -mm. Do not let that trample your hair underfoot. Do not wash your hair in braids every every week. If you're going to wash your hair in braids, then do it every month, every two months, every three months, every four months. Do not wash your hair in braids just because it's easy. No, Bajinana, can we just wake up? Okay, can we just wake up? Why must we wait 20 years before we discover that? Oh my goodness, this is a snare. Why can't we just catch it right now in the act? Before, the stumbling block was relaxers. And now I am telling you, it is overly exposing your hair to water. That is the stumbling block. Whether it's using a cream, which is basically just water, and oil that has been emulsified together. Or maybe it's, I don't know, the LOC method using a spray bottle, deep conditioners. Yay! Imagine wrapping your hair for like two hours with a deep conditioner and it's wet for two hours. Don't do it. If your wash day lasts the whole day, then you are walking in the wrong direction. You are headed in the wrong direction. If you want long hair, then stop first going in with water. Okay? This is an illusion. This is a mirage to keep your hair short and miserable. So that you can always want to have long hair. So that you can always return back to the system. The key is to keep you wanting long hair and never having it. Because that is how everyone benefits from you wanting and not having. Misting your hair with water causes it to be damp, not soft. And once again, I am going to say that there is a difference between softness and dampness. Damp hair is actually in self-destructive mode. To guarantee the longevity of your hair, just keep your cuticles laid and flat and not swollen and open, okay? And just keep the cell membrane complex of your hair intact and not tampered with. Because doctors say that it is like a glue that holds your hair in place. Hair is not like a plant. A plant is a plant and hair is hair. Stop hydrating your hair and it will flourish. You do not water hair. If you can just get this part correct, then I am telling you no lies. Over time, you are going to reach lengths that 10 heads. And no, I am not hyping you up. This is just reality. This is, this is something that I did not come up with this. I did not invent this. By the time I was born, this already was. It's just the truth. So if you can just master this, then boom, you will reach your hair goals in due season. And the keyword there is due season. Because there is no such thing as one inch a month 12 inches a year, whatever, fast hair growth. Like, now let it not be associated with me. As time goes on, your hair will accumulate into something glorious, okay? People are going to be asking you what your secret is, what you have done, whatever, not knowing that there is no secret to hair growth. There is just revelation. If you don't have revelation, okay, I cannot help you. Okay, so that's it, guys. I will see you on another video. Bye.